Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of 9 in 9 with Sunderland. Today we take on the MK Dons in another huge game at the top of the League One table. I seem to be saying that a lot recently but they are all coming thick and fast at the moment. We'll take a look at the results we've had since we were last together shortly including a close run thing with Manchester United in the Carabao Cup. Don't forget if you enjoy this content to please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into those results we've had since we were last together. So following the narrow win over Birmingham City last time around, we beat Mansfield by two goals to one. Matt Grimes and Callum Wilson with our goals. Matt Pocket with the reply. We easily got through to round three of the Papa John's Trophy, a 5-1 win over West Brom's under-23. Brad Potts with a goal, Ortega with two, Medley and Helek with the goals. We made it through to round three of the FA Cup, two goals from Callum Wilson seeing off South End. An own goal saw us past Forest Green, Harry Brockbank with the own goal. We beat Cambridge by two goals to nil, Felix Nemecha and Brian Fabremia with the goals. And here is this close one with Manchester United. Took them to penalties. Elliot Embleton hit the post to deny us a place in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. But a very good effort from the lads in that one. And we bounced back immediately with a 94th minute goal from Callum Wilson. He had just missed a penalty, but he did score just before the end of the game to give us another valuable win, this time over Mansfield. So in the third round of the Papa John's Trophy, we will take on Wigan. Fellow League One side and a side looking to push for the playoff places. In the FA Cup, it's Queen's Park Rangers for us in the third round. We played them in the Carabao Cup earlier in the season, so I have no problems that we will see them off and make it through to the fourth requirement of reaching round four. In League One, we are four points clear at the top of the table. We do have a game in hand over Portsmouth as well. But the gap needs to be looked at to the side in third. We are nine points ahead of Peterborough. Ten points ahead of the MK Dons. But they do have a chance to close up on Portsmouth today. Reading and Rotherham complete the playoff places. Birmingham just outside. Huddersfield on 37. Wigan on 36. Grimsby on 35. Manfield on 34. Bolton on 32. Completing the top half down at the bottom. Where Crewe have dropped back to the bottom of the table on 17. Four sides on 18 as it's starting to get pretty tasty down there. Shrewsbury, Tramier, Burton Albion and Plymouth all on 18. Forest Green on 20. There's a huge gap then to Morecambe and Lake Norrin on 26. Cambridge and Lincoln have got 27 with Rochdale and Bradford City on 29. But we concentrate on the top of the League One table today. A chance to extend our lead further at the top. Let's have a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups for this one. We start with Walton in goal, McCarthy, Southam, Medley, Laird, Brigani, Neal, Embleton, Johnson, Nemecha with Hardy leading the line. MK Dons start with Dewan in goal. Grimmer, Toti, Femwu, Harvey, Kasumi, O'Reilly, Ward, Jayasimi, Morris with McDonald leading the line. So a chance to potentially extend our lead to third place. That is the key thing at the moment. Looks like we're going back to the championship. The Sunderland fans certainly are back. They've started to return in their numbers. They are seeing something special from their side. Hopefully we continue it today. Hopefully. MK Dons will be a tough nut to crack. I see he picks the ball up. Looking through for McDonald, but Walton should deal with that. He does. Grimmer. Throws it into Jaya Simi. Ward picks it up. Goes back into Grimmer. Cross into Tutti. O'Reilly. Jaya Singley picks it up. Good play from the MK Dons. Knocking the ball around quite nicely. We've got to try and lay a glove on him if we can. Morris. Trying to get through. Finds Jaya Simi. Going around the outside. Embleton's following him. And he gets the ball away from him as well. Nemecha. And he got Hardy in front of him. He does try and find it, but Toti picks it up. Fen Wu. Jaya Simi. Trying to pick a hole in the defence. That's been pretty solid so far this season. Although McDonald has got in behind as well. And it's a good block behind from Southam. Corner early doors to the MK Dons. It's going to be O'Reilly to take the corner. Are we going to get it clear? Ball into the box. Medley heads it away. 
got to pick up the loose ball. Ryan Hardy slides in and Brennan Johnson collects it. Go on, son. Run. He's running down this left-hand side board. Has taken the ball away. And has managed to deal with it at the MK Dons. Get a bit of encouragement on the field as well with the throw. Throws it into Grimmer. O'Reilly. Plays it across into Ward. Jayasimi. Goes back into Tutti. We've got lots of players back behind the ball. Those we're just sort of dealing with things at the moment. The MK Dons have come on and they've come on pretty strong so far. Jayasimi picks the ball up in the centre. Kasumi into Morris. Nice tidy football around the edge of the box. Can we get it clear? Morris through to Ward. Good shot, good save. Bit of encouragement on the field from me as O'Reilly takes the corner kick. Ball into the near post when Wu heads it wide. Grimmer with the throw. It's been all MK Don so far. And kind of one sort of half chance to get the ball into their box as Morris heads towards goal and he's flashed it wide of the post. Oh, Bregani's picked up an injury. That is not good news. Have a look at that before we do anything else. So we're going to have to bring Matty Pollock on, aren't we? And then have a proper switch around. So Laird will go to the left. McCarthy will go to the right. And we'll put Pollock in the middle. There we go. That'll leak. Into two additional minutes. We have raced through the first half. It is Sunderland nil, MK Dons nil. But look at that from us. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. MK Dons have dominated us. And that has not happened often. So we're going to have to have a word at half time. We're going to do something tactically as well. Work the ball into the box. Let's go a little bit longer as well with the passing, maybe. Because we've had to take Bragani off. So there'll be no sub at half time. No need for one, really. Just to say it hasn't been good enough. It hasn't been good enough. You've got more capability in you. You've got more in you. Come on. Thankfully, it's still nil-nil. That is the only saving grace from the first half. I'm looking at Brennan Johnson. I'm looking at Felix Nemetra as well and making a change in the wide areas. We might bring Alexi Ortega on, you know. My mind is going round, thinking what we can do. Laird is not having a great game as well. No one's having a great game, to be fair. But it's all been MK Dons. But Brennan Johnson does take the ball away. Embleton finds Hardy. Nemetra trying to spark something into life. Laird picks it up. Embleton again. Just have a bit of possession. I think that'll probably be the biggest thing at the moment. Johnson. Through to Harvey. Back into Johnson. Will he get a shot away? He will. Save by the goalkeeper. It's been the best spell we've had. We are an hour into the game. We have a corner. It's going to be McCarthy to take it from the right-hand side. Ball in. Medley's into the back of the net. Well. Second shot on goal, if you like. And Zach Medley has given us the lead. Very much against the run of play. Very much so. But we will take it. McCarthy with the ball in. Medley rises. In off the inside of the post. 1-0 Sunderland. Papers over the cracks from the performance though. It's not been great. But we take it. Let's have a look at a change. 20 minutes to play. Just made the one so far. So Hardy's going to come off. We are going to bring Alexi Ortega on. And we're going to make another change with Brendan Johnson coming off. Brad Pot going to come up. That is, if the MK Dons don't get anything from this game, they will feel sick because they were by far the better side. But you've got to take your chances when they come. Curry. Plays it back into Fen Wu. We are back in shape behind the football. Protecting the lead that we have somehow managed to get. Fen Wu. Cross into Tutti. Onto Grimmer. Looking for Humphreys. It just keep forcing them backwards. Keep this unbeaten run going. Keep this lead extended at the top as Curry's on his own in the penalty area. Good save from Christian Walton. But it is behind for a corner with 20 to play. Let's say the MK Dons, they'll probably feel very sick right now that they are behind. You see me with the corner into the penalty area, going towards the back post. Bedley doing his job at the other end of the field. Heads it out for a throw. Neil into South. McCarthy. Back into Pollock. Embleton. Cross into Laird. Coming inside. Of course, he's going to have to. Plays it back in towards Embleton. Neil. Plays it across into Southam. He's trying to eat up the time, it seems, at the moment. McCarthy. Will we spring into life on the edge of the box? Potts. McCarthy once more. 
McCarthy sends the ball over. Ortega heads over the park. It's safe from the goalkeeper on the way. And K. Johns have changed to 4-4-2 to try and get something from the game. Kasumi goes into Jayasimi. Whacked away by McCarthy. That's how you defend, folks. Just whack it down the field. Dewan into Tutti. On to Casey. Kasumi looking over the top for McDonald. Pollock heads it away. He's been brilliant since he's come on. Potts looking for Ortega, but he's not going to get there. Unless the defender and the goalkeeper are going to have a cock up, and they didn't. Harvey sends it down the field. Medley heads it forward. Nemecha. Laird. Finds Nemecha once more. Looking for Ortega. Looking for Potts as well. Will Brad Potts finish the game? He will. 2 0. Don't deserve it. But we do have it. The unbeaten run continues. And that is the second goal of the afternoon. And that kills off the MK Dons. And if they've not played well second half, we've been much better. We couldn't have been much worse, to be fair. Brad Potts finishes the game 2-0. Hardly been a vintage performance from us. But when you're top of the table, you just need to win football matches. Chance for number three, perhaps. This would be harsh. Potts into the area. Pollock! Penalty! It's all unraveled for the MK Dons. Alexi Ortega is going to take it. Can he add number three and a gloss to the scoreline? Up against the goalkeeper. Come on, Alexi. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. 3-0. We don't deserve that. We definitely don't. But the MK Dons have imploded in the last 20 minutes. And it's 3-0 Sunderland. Game over. Good night, Irene. Who's Irene? Don't know where that came from. Throw in to the MK Dons. Last couple of seconds. 2-2 Two -two with it. And as we change to work it into the box, maybe we'll do that more often. Don't do it a lot. And that is full time. Whatever I said at half time worked, apparently. And it really did. 3-0 was the final score. Much, much better in the second half. We know what's going to happen on the league table, but let's look at it anyway. Means we move on to 60 points, 12 points clear now of Peterborough in third. And yet, the train, it keeps on rolling as we keep pushing for promotion. So I'll see you next time when we'll take on Wigan. We've got Bradford, Plymouth, Reading, Wigan in that northern section game. And the third round FA Cup tie with QPR, Portsmouth as well, before we take on Wigan again in the league. Hopefully, we'll have some more wins under our belt. Because the promotion train, it keeps on going. Although, with our goalkeeper being the man of the match, it tells you all you need to know about our performance. Particularly in the first half, we weren't great. We did turn it on in the second half, but we were helped massively by the MK Dons pressing that old self-destruct button. But, it doesn't matter. We move on. Wigan, next up. For us next time and i'll see you then for that don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say and i'll see you next time thanks for watching goodbye